Have you ever looked down and just wanted something thicker? Well, Fox made a thicker one for you. The 38. Ladies and gentlemen, earlier this month, Fox released a whole bunch of new 2021 goodies, um, forks, transfer post revisions, and rear shocks. Um, most notably, and what we're gonna talk about a lot in this video is the new 38. So it's a 38 mil stanchion, as the name implies, enduro fork for long travel bikes. Um, we've got one, we've ridden it, we checked out some of the other stuff, we're gonna tell you all about it. As mountain bikes have evolved, we have gotten a lot more specific nitty gritty parts that are designed just for like a certain type of discipline. Um, that's why Fox already had the 32, 34, 36, and 40. Um, they're getting even more granular with their focus on forks, um, and that's where the 38 came from. So now for 2021, the 36 is now just available in 150 to 160 millimeters of travel, and the 38 is available from 160 to 180. So it's a long travel specific fork that's bridging the gap between that like, you could call enduro bike and a downhill bike. So it's like a heavy duty enduro bike, 160 to 180. Right. Um, I don't know, it's, there's no classification for it, but that's basically the travel range. Um, there is a ton of different new details that they added to the new 36, 38, and 40. I will talk about a few of them now, but if you wanna get more into the granular stuff, uh, check out the link below in the video description for more on like the little details and stuff. Mostly I wanna focus on how this thing actually works and how it compares to the previous 36 and who the heck is it for and why would you buy it? So to quickly go over some of the new stuff that they did, um, they now have these little air bleeders on these things. That's actually pretty convenient because a lot of mountain bikers might live at one elevation and travel up and down somewhere else. Um, me specifically, I live at about sea level and sometimes I go up into the mountains to go ride Big Bear or something for the weekend and elevation changes by several thousand feet. This is to reduce that sort of build up pressure in there. Um, it's a tiny little difference, but again, Fox has gotten so far and so advanced with suspension these days that they're going for like every little microscopic gain that they can get in terms of performance and friction reducing. That brings me to the next thing, which is this new floating axle. So that design there allows you, so basically on any fork, right, the lowers come down like this. When you actually compress them, bolt them onto the hub, tighten them up, they kind of have a tiniest bit of bend in there. And that causes friction because the lowers are now not aligned with the stanchions. So floating axle fixes that. It allows you to move a little slider in there, adjust it to the exact width of your hub. So that way when you tighten everything down, the lowers are perfectly in line with the stanchion. So super impressive, granular, little tiny details that they thought of to reduce friction and increase performance performance everywhere possible. There's a few other things. Um, obviously, you can see that the brake arch is now redesigned, has more clearance, so more fitment compatibility on bikes with larger head tubes. It now has threaded holes in the back of it, so you can bolt on a fender to it. So Fox now makes bolt-on fenders for all the forks, which is awesome. People have been waiting for that for a really long time to get rid of those zip ties. Um, that's a little bit of an overview on that stuff. Again, check the link below if you want to get more into those details. But more importantly, let's talk about how this thing works and who the heck it would be for. Hi there, my name is Jeffrey Tudlow and I'm gonna give you my honest review on this here Fox 38. So this baby, it's a, it's a new one. It's got a thick 38. But let's cut to the chase. Everybody wants to know, how does it climb? It climbs good, not much bob, oh, a little bit of bob. Not that light, had a lighter fork. Got a, we got a high speed clacker, low speed clacker. 
rebound clackers air that's about it let me know if you guys need any other information it's pretty good yeah Whenever a brand releases a new product, especially a really technical one like this from a brand like Fox, you know that they've spent probably several years developing and working on this thing and had a reason to do it, right? So they're not just making products aimlessly, they're doing it for a reason. This wasn't a really well-kept secret. A lot of people had seen this thing leaked on uh, professional Enduro World Series riders. Um, their bikes, they'd been running it sort of covered up, didn't say 38 on it, but everyone kind of looked at it and thought, yeah, that's, that's a different Fox fork. Um, actually, last year, Richie Rude, who is a incredible Enduro World Series racer, he got third place in the final series running this fork, or there could have been prototype at that point. Um, he's a big, strong dude who rides, he's basically one of the fastest mountain bike riders in the entire world. And not only that, he's like a pretty big, heavy guy. And the faster you go and the bigger you are, the more you're gonna, basically demand everything out of your suspension. You're gonna demand more out of the damper, the air spring, um, the stiffness, all of that sort of stuff. And the slower you go, the less that becomes relevant. Uh, but Fox is obviously a race bred company. They're designing stuff to make the best suspension products in the world for their racers. Um, and then it trickles down and people like you and me get to buy it and ride it as well and, and enjoy it. So when I first hopped on this thing, my initial thoughts were, it's, it was almost nostalgic because my initial thought was like, holy shit, it feels like a 40. It feels like a downhill fork. These bikes, I grew up riding downhill bikes and basically was riding eight inch travel dual crown downhill forks um, 10 plus years ago. And those bikes could not pedal up a hill at all. Um, now you have bikes like this with 150 mil travel in the rear, um, 170 in the front, 29 inch wheels, steep C2 bangles. You can pedal this thing up a hill and it's a fast all around mountain bike, but it goes downhill like a downhill bike did even just five years ago. So obviously the 38 is bridging the gap between the enduro bike and the downhill bike. And who is it for? Well, it depends. The faster you're going and the heavier you are, the more relevant this bike's gonna be for your long travel enduro bike. I'm only 150 pounds, so I don't have like, I would say the best review on it in that sense, because to me, a 36 still feels plenty stiff. Um, this thing felt even stiffer. That's what she said. And even more precise and accurate. It was extremely impressive. Where I really noticed the biggest difference wasn't just the stiffness per se, but how smooth, supple, and basically just the damper was amazing. Like on, on big hits, it's just so incredibly um, smooth in the way that it absorbs a large hit. It doesn't feel like you hit and then it sinks in. It just go, it just like eats, eats shit for lunch. You eat pieces of shit for breakfast? No. It's amazing. It's, it's definitely hard to explain, but the closest thing I can say is if you've ever ridden um, a downhill fork, especially the Fox 40, it feels the most like that. Like there's no, there's no diving, there's no dead zone. It just eats stuff up. It's incredibly impressive. I mean, you would expect it to be, right? It's Fox, they're just world-class at making suspension. So it's really cool stuff. We did have a good friend of ours and customers, um, guy Chris Munz, he's 210 pounds, an extremely fast rider. Uh, we put him on the thing as well because we wanted to hear his take because he's a bigger dude because I know if I just gave you my review, there'd be a hundred comments saying like, oh, I want a review from someone who's not a tiny little 150 pound guy. So here's Chris Munz and his take on how this thing works. He's a 210 pound dude who rides very fast. The initial thing I noticed about this fork, I know everybody's gonna be enamored with the 38 and the stiffness, but the initial thing I noticed was the damper um, and what it would do from a fully extended position into a big uh, travel event is the fork had no, it had no spike, it had no, it, it didn't stall out. The fork would immediately get into its travel and, and decelerate you at a, a very linear rate. Um, where, where other forks I've tried, um, all of them, Fox, Rock Shocks, Olin, they have, they have a bit of when you hit them real hard, they have a bit of a, a delay where it, it spikes or it's binding and then it gets into the travel. Um, and it's kind of, this fork, I didn't, I didn't feel any of that. I felt like it, it did a real good job of getting into the travel, decelerating you to where you needed to be at and then getting back to its business. Um, obviously it's, it's stiffer, it's, it's, it's a bigger fork because they've, they've redesigned it. It is stiffer. Myself being, being a heavier guy, I would buy this over a 36, but I don't think that if I was on a 36, it wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't slow me down. 
uh, as opposed to having this. I'd say overall impressions are good. Like I said, it, it, everybody's kind of enamored with the stiffness and the 38 and you, you notice it, but the main thing I noticed was that, that damper performance in the big, in the big quick hard hits uh, from fully extended. It just does a real good job of getting you into the travel, dealing with what it needs to deal with and getting back to its business. No spiking, um, no diving. It just, it just gets right to it and, and, and yeah, it feels, that aspect, it feels amazing. I hope that gives you guys a good idea on the performance of this thing and really who it's for. So keep in mind now the 36 is only coming in 150 and 160 mil travel and the 38 is gonna be 160 to 180 mil travel. Um, so it really is for those longer travel enduro bikes. Um, this particular one is a limited edition pistachio color. Fox and us sold out of those things pretty quickly. It's a pretty cool color. And it's gone. I don't know if it looks the best on a lime green bike, but it's still a pretty cool color. Probably look better on a black bike, but that's everyone's opinion. Um, I don't know if they're gonna come back with this pistachio color. Uh, several years ago when they introduced orange, they were like, oh, it's a limited edition run. And then it was so popular and everyone wanted it. They just made it a production thing. Uh, so maybe they'll do that with this. The 36 limited edition color was root beer, which you can see here. That thing looks killer. That is the deal with the 38. Now let's talk about some of the other Fox 2021 goodies. Other new stuff from Fox, the 32 and 34 series forks. Not too much has changed there. One of the most notable ones though is that the 34 is now available with a grip two damper, which is rad. I'm excited to try that out. I definitely like that's good lightweight trail bike fork and now it's gonna have a killer high-end damper in it. So that's awesome. Um, couple new rear shocks, the Float X2 and the DHX2. Those are entirely new redesigned shocks. So new dampers, new pistons, new bottom out bumpers. Um, we have yet to test those things out, but as you can see, they look absolutely gorgeous. I'm excited to uh, try those things and, and see how they perform since they're totally redesigned. But I trust Fox on this one and I'm, I'm sure they're pretty amazing. Um, the transfer post, the Fox transfer post is probably one of the most reliable posts with the best reputation ever out there. Um, it is now revised, it looks much fancier. It's got a whole new um, clamp design that's easier to work on, looks cooler. Um, that actually reduced its stack height and its overall length. Um, it is also 25 grams lighter now as well. Um, um, so yeah, that's kind of a roundup of the cool and new stuff from Fox in 2021. Let us know down in the comments what you guys think. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one.